Children, can you tell me which is the topmost layer of the earth crust? It's the soil and rocks, ma'am. Very good, Emily. Soil is an important medium for plant growth and many animals like the rabbit, moles and earthworms also inhabit the soil. Ma'am, but how was this soil formed? You asked a very good question. Let me answer that. Soil formation is a very slow process. The large rocks are broken down by air, heat of sun, snow and moving water into small pieces. This process is repeated many times. As a result, these small pieces of rocks are broken down further into fine particles of soil. This process of bearing away of rocks to form soil is called weathering. Sometimes the minerals present in rocks also dissolve in water and cause weathering. Let us do an activity. Take a pot, some plaster of Paris, water and few bean seeds. Soak the seeds overnight in water. Now, mix plaster of Paris and water in the pot and make a thick paste. Plant the seeds before the plaster hardens in such a way that they lie one centimeter below the surface of plaster. Keep the pot in a warm place but in shade. Observe what happens to hardened plaster of Paris as the seeds germinate. Ma'am, how many layers are there in soil? Soil consists of three layers. The uppermost layer of the soil is called topsoil. It is the most fertile layer and plants grow here. It is rich in organic matter called humus. The soil below the topsoil is subsoil. It consists of sand, clay and silt but does not contain organic matter and humus. Subsoil is harder than the soil. Below the subsoil lies the bedrock consisting of broken pieces of rocks. Do you know children? that sometimes the topsoil is eroded. The soil loses its fertility. This process of carrying away the topsoil by wind, water or any other agent is known as soil erosion. Ma'am, are these the only reason for soil erosion? No dear, mining activity also. Mining not only clears the trees but also increases pollution due to the dust that comes from the mining fields. Healthy plants cannot grow in less fertile or infertile soil. If soil erosion is not checked and it continues for a long time, a fertile land may turn into a desert. The eroded topsoil which is carried away by the running water is deposited in the riverbed or into the sea. The deposition of fine accumulated silt and clay in a standing water body is known as silting. It makes the water bodies shallow. Ma'am, what causes soil erosion? Wind. Strong winds carry away good amount of loose topsoil from place to place. Water. Rainwater washes away the loose topsoil. Running water during floods carries more topsoil to river to form the silt. Deforestation. The process of cutting off trees and plants is known as deforestation. Roots of trees hold the soil in place. Thus, they prevent the soil from being washed off. If trees are fallen off, the soil becomes loose. This loose soil can be easily blown away by wind. Overgrazing Overgrazing by cattle also leads to soil erosion. As there is no coverage by grass, the soil becomes loose. It is one of the major causes of soil erosion. That is so sad, ma'am. Is there a way to save the soil? Yes, children. Soil erosion is a serious problem to all of us, especially to the farmers. It is our duty to control it. Wind, water and ice are the natural forces which are responsible for soil erosion. But these are not in our control. So, we have to adopt some methods to conserve the soil. Protecting the soil from soil erosion is known as soil conservation. Let us see how following methods help us to control soil erosion. In plain fields, 
by growing grass. Grass plants, which are also known as runners, cover the soil past and hold the soil with their fibrous roots. So, grass should be grown on plain land masses. By growing more plants and trees. To save the topsoil, more trees and small plants should be planted. The roots of plants and trees can hold the soil tightly and avoid soil erosion. The process of planting large number of trees is known as afforestation. In forests and grasslands, by avoiding overgrazing, overgrazing makes the soil loose. So, by preventing overgrazing, we can conserve the soil. In crop fields or agricultural lands, soil erosion can be prevented by making high boundaries of mud in the form of buns. Big farms can be divided into small field areas with boundaries. On hill slopes, hilly areas are slanting. So, rainwater flows there very rapidly, unlike in plains. As the water flows, it carries topsoil with it. So, to avoid this wastage, agricultural land of hilly areas can be made into steps or terraces. This slows down rate of the flow of water. This method of farming, which prevents soil erosion, is known as terrace farming. In fields near rivers, dams and embankments are useful in checking soil erosion. During heavy rains and floods, the rivers overflow and wash the topsoil from nearby fields and make them infertile for the next crop. Embankments are usually built on the banks of a river with stones or rocks. Dams also help in collecting flood water instead of letting it enter the fields and causing soil erosion. The water that is collected in the dams can be used whenever water is needed for farming and to generate electricity. Amazing fact! Bhakra Dam across the Satlaj River provides water for irrigation to over 10 million acres of fields across Punjab, Himachal Pradesh, Haryana and Rajasthan. Let us summarize. Soil is the topmost portion of the earth's crust. Soil is the most important medium for plant growth. Soil is important for every living organism directly or indirectly. Strong winds, rains, floods and human activities like mining cause soil erosion. As natural forces cannot be controlled, some methods have to be developed to avoid soil erosion. Soil conservation is the process of protecting the soil from soil erosion. Soil can be conserved by growing grass, plants and trees. Soil erosion can be prevented in hilly areas by terrace farming. Avoiding overgrazing in forests and plains can help in preventing soil erosion. Construction of dams across rivers and embankments along rivers can help in checking soil erosion.